we're going to clean out our bobbin case area or our bobbin hook area. So I have, I have the ruler tray on, so I'm just going to tuck my vacuum back here. So I use this, um, this is this natural fiber paintbrush and let's just get rid of, I should, probably should have cleared those threads away. Okay. So we're going to just dust this out. Now, this particular machine, let's pop this tray off. I did that really backwards way. Okay, so this machine currently does not have a bobbin door, um, which is fine, no big deal. So we're just going to dust this all out. Clean our hook out here. You can also take, you know, you can take your foot off, your needle. I'm just getting ready to quilt again, so I'm not gonna, I'm not changing the needle quite yet, but we're gonna just run this in here. I'll show you actually real quick, one thing that I do like to do. Um, so I'm gonna take the needle out for this. And I'm gonna grab my oil. Now, when you're oiling this machine, let's see, let's get you guys right there. Okay, you wanna aim the oil on this like ridge right here. So see this ridge, it sticks up. It does require you to turn the hand wheel initially when it starts, when the machine starts up. So I'm just gonna turn the hand wheel a little. I'm aiming for this ridge. And I'm just gonna put a couple drops of oil in there. And like that. Now if I've been running the machine for a little bit longer, sometimes I might do a little bit more oil. So what I'm gonna do is I've just put oil in the bobbin. I've taken the foot off, I've taken the needle out, that's important. And then I'm gonna go up here to manual mode and I'm going to turn my speed down uh, somewhere between, you know, like maybe 500, right? I'm gonna turn it down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to run my machine. There's no needle, no foot, no stitch plate. I'm going to run my machine, okay? And if you have your top thread sensor turned on, it will give you an error, but I don't. So I'm just gonna run it for a minute and then stop it. Okay, so I've run it in manual mode. What that does is sometimes if you've got thread and fuzz, and I'll just, you can kind of see my bobbin area down here. If you've got thread and fuzz and stuff in here, it's just going to kind of help loosen things up and kick out any stuff. Like I've had stuff get stuck, you know, in the groove here. And so it's just gonna kick that out for you so you can pull it out with a pair of tweezers. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put everything back in our machine. So I've got my stitch plate. I'm just gonna kind of clean the fuzz off of it. Put that back on. I've already checked my bobbin case tension. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in, put it in. I hear the click, I'm happy with that. I pull, cut the thread. Let's get our needle back in. Remember with our machines, right? Needles go flat to the back, just like our domestic Berninas. Tighten that down. I could also just kind of dust off the fuzz that I've got on the needle bar. Put my foot back on, make sure it's clamped down nice and tight. If you're using an adjustable foot, Make sure it's adjusted all the way down to start with. If you need to back it off a little once you get started, if you're using a thicker batting, you can do that. But let's make sure it's adjusted all the way down, which it is. Okay. And I've got, I'm just gonna put my tools out of the way. And now I'm ready to thread my machine. So I have my handle out of the way here, just kind of to show you guys. Um, and so I've got my thread here. I'm gonna start. By... Okay, so what I forgot to point out to you is that when you start threading, you're gonna thread from here up to your guides here, through this one, through this one, and then come down to your thread guide. By coming to the thread guide here, now I've got two thread guides. I use the front one because I'm short and it's closer to me. I'm gonna thread there, come down underneath the guide here, and then we're going across. Once I've gone across here, there's another tension disc back here. So I've come across, follow the, guide around, coming down. We've got a spring down here. Let's move this handle out of the way. Okay. All right. So we've got our spring down here we're catching, and then we have to thread our take-up lever. So let's move it closer. I usually have a long, long line of thread. I cut that. We're threading our take-up lever back to front. Okay. And now we're coming down. Now, if I had the door closed, my thread would go in the right path. I like to have the door open because I like to see where everything is. 
So I'm going underneath this little plate here, okay? Down to my thread guide here, okay? Thread guide. And now I'm going to the thread guide above the needle. And then I can use my needle threader. So under the threader, push all the way down, thread back into the guide and up. Now I make this kind of motion with my thread and that allows the thread to catch on the little hook that's in the threader head. And then pull my thread through, close the door, cut my extra over here, okay? And now my ma machine is threaded top and bobbin for quilting.